I wasn't really going to make an unboxing video about this radio, but it has so many flaws, I just had to point them all out. I haven't even opened the box yet. This is the new Baofeng. Uh, I don't even remember the model number yet, but we'll get to that here in just a minute. But right on the top, it says digital mobile radio, dual time slot. It's got an FCC moniker on it. It boasts the features of high capability, high capability, Lion battery, lithium ion, long distance. I wonder if it has its own operator. Long standby time. I guess I could stand by anything with or without the power on. Sound quality is clear. Well, that's, that could be something, I guess. Front side, digital mobile radio. Dual time slot, once again, made in China. You ought to never guess. Okay, what, we, what else we got here? Uh, looks about like the same thing. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's some more on the back. Digital mobile radio features digital analog compatible. Doesn't mean it's ready, but it's compatible. Dual time slot, dual band. AMBE plus two vocoder. Hmm. SMS function. Really? I know digital radios. I have that function. Digital signaling function. CTCSS and CDCSS. Digital mode supports the use of repeater. Not a repeater or certain repeaters, just repeater. And digital alarm function. And I love how these boxes are always smushed because they're wrapped so tightly with bubble wrap when you get them. It's just, it's just like good grief. Like you never get it all off. Okay. I only bought this radio for one reason. And it had nothing to do with the fact that it's a nice, cheap Chinese radio. Nothing. Well, it had a little bit to do with it. And we'll get to that here in just a second. First thing you see is a card that says, My Radio. Thank you for my deer. Uh, did I give you a deer? Thank you for my deer. I wonder if it meant, Thank you, my deer. Hmm. Or it's supposed to be a gift card, maybe? I don't know. Hey, five-star rating. Doesn't say from who, but it's got one. Dear customer, thanks for your order. We hope that you are satisfied with our products. If any concern, please do not hesitate to contact us. The best solution will be provided. As well, if you need more quantities or other items, just feel free to contact us and we will provide a good price for you. Meanwhile, if you have a pleasant buying experience, your positive feedback is a recognition and motivation to our efforts. We appreciate so much for everything you have done for us. Sincerely, Jane. Mm -hmm. Jane Baofang. International phone number and Facebook phone number, Twitter, Majayalan, I don't know, Mahailahayalan, I don't know. Email address is just as long, and a Skype address, okay, and apparently they have a WeChat uh, Q code. Interesting. All right, on to the reason I bought this thing. Hey, look, first Chinese, chi cheap Chinese walk I've ever bought with a walkie knot attached to the battery. Interesting. I mean, it does look neat in the pictures. It's a uh, decent sized. It's got this trigger type PTT button on the side. Uh, speaker mic. I'm gonna have to put the, see if I can get the battery on without putting the phone down. There's the battery. Oh, it looks like it's got a type C charging port in the back. Right there. I was right. And it is a 1800 milliamp, milliamp hour battery, 8.4 volts uh, is the charging voltage. Uh, the actual voltage is 7.4 volts, 13.32 watt hours. Hmm. 
interesting yeah okay it doesn't feel very heavy it's got a little weight to it it's got a little weight okay what is this here interesting i'm just i'm just gonna leave that there okay it looks like the battery screws on and i'm gonna have to thread that in real quick so i'll be right back i went ahead and screwed the antenna on i don't see a programming cable in the packaging that was promised so let's turn it on Channel mode. that's reason number one why i bought it it's got the Barry White option for the voice prompts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. I'm surprised it doesn't say baby after it. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go to the menu. This is reason number two. Well, let's hear somewhere. Maybe it's radio setting. 11. Oh, pardon me. Let's go back. And there it is. The Baofang. Complete with Podger Beep. <laughs> Well, and the font on the screen kind of looks like a uh, like a Yesu, FT, FT5D or an FT3D. Well, it's got a nice big PTT light on the top. A couple of programmable buttons. I can only assume they're programmable. We'll take a look at it and run it through its paces, see how much a Podger beep will, uh, see how far that'll get us. But uh, <laughs> it's the Baofeng BF. 18H, complete with Podger Beep. Okay, the drop charger is so janky, and I'm sure it's repurposed from another uh, Baofeng or another radio somewhere, but you have to put this insert in there before the walkie will fit, and on the insert it says, warning, UV-18, you can probably see that right under the word warning right there. Warning, UV-18, so if that's in place, all you can put in there is the UV-18. And it uh, doesn't like to fit exactly. Hmm, it fit in there. It took a little doing handed job it's not going to easily drop in and drop out like a drop charger should but it is what it is here's a nice little pronunciation channel mode frequency mode channel mode the Barry White voice option on the Baofang BF 18H interesting uh, I like it a lot. Let's turn the lamp on, aka the torch, which is right there. That's the uh, you got FM radio. There's the boys of summer. Thank you, light. Alert! Alert! Help me! That is a little ear splitting, so if you wanted to draw attention to yourself, that'd be the way to do it. All right, folks, more to come. K85 FMU clear, hoping all the good signals to be yours. Ham on, y'all.